This is my horse, Bessie. She's a bit blocky, but we've been through a lot together, me and Bessie. Made her with my bare hands and scrap mechanic. She's got authentic leg movements, as you can see. Press one, and she starts moving. Two and three make her go left and right. That one over there, that's her sister, Adeline. Adeline's lazy. She goes slow. She hasn't been through Durf's uh, controller boost tool. Used to be everything was slow as Adeline, but thanks to Durf, you can make any animal and boost its speed. Let me show you how that's done. First, I'll go to Google and type in horse movement, and then I'll select images. So I just get images. Select the one you want and then print it off. You're gonna want at least four images. The controller will only do 10 movements, so if you got more than 10 images, you're gonna have to cut the images in half, like do every other image. This is the image I used to build my horse. Now there's a controller near each of Bessie's legs. You can see that under here. And that picture we were looking at had eight horses. And if you look here in this controller, there's eight movements. The first bearing is the shoulder, the second bearing is the elbow, and the third bearing is the wrist. And this one's just that front right leg, you understand. So what you do is you look at your picture in that first horse and you say, okay, I gotta make the legs look like that to start with. When you set up your bearings, make sure they're all going in the same direction, either all clockwise or all counterclockwise. So you wanna start with that shoulder bearing. Tinker with it until you get it to look the way it should look. And then work on the elbow bearing get it to look the way it should look, and then work on the wrist bearing. Here I'm working on that starting position to the left. I forgot to say this before, but you're gonna need a whole mess of patience if you wanna do this. Anyway, you keep going around to every leg, every bearing until you got all the legs looking like that first picture. So when the horse looks like the picture, then you're ready to move on to the second movement. Now you'll need to turn the switch on so that all the legs move as you adjust them. In the end, you're gonna have repeat on, but don't have them repeat to start with. So you go around every single leg, every joint, until you get all the legs looking like that second picture. Then when you're happy that it looks like the second picture, you're ready to move on to the third picture. Anyway, you just keep repeating that until you get to that eighth horse. That's going to be the seventh movement. And then the eighth movement is going to be how you get back to the first horse picture. So all the movements have to add up to zero. Otherwise, your horse is going to look like a pretzel. So just add up the first seven movements and then you gotta make the eighth movement the negative of your answer there. You might also have some other movements to account for, like the head might be moving or the tail might be moving if this was like a cat or a dog. So you wanna do that at the same time that you do the legs. There's a couple other features I wanna show you. I had to put in some stabilizers to keep it upright when it lifted a leg. I got one on each side and one on the tail. This is of the Brent Batch variety. I got glitch steering down there, and I got a rocket hidden in here to help with the speed. It would be really slow without the rocket. Now turn all your controllers to repeat, and then you can test it out. To start with, it's gonna be as slow as Adeline is. So you wanna save your creation, and then go on to Durf's tool. There's a link in the description for that gotta go to a special website. Click open JSON and the blueprints are located in the same place as the saves. Sort by date modified. Your most recent save is at the top. You're gonna want to make a copy of that file before you do the JSON editing. 
open the one that says blueprint. The brown and orange is because I colored some of the controllers. It uses the colors of the controllers here. This is useful if you want some of the controllers boosted, but not others. In this case, I'm going to boost them all. If I wanted to double the speed, I would put 0.5 here on the speed. I know that's kind of counterintuitive. In this case, I'm putting 0.3, which is going to triple the speed. Hit process when you're done, and it'll put a new JSON file in your downloads. Now replace the downloaded JSON with your original JSON. You don't even have to exit Scrap Mechanic to get this done. In Scrap Mechanic, just look at your lift creations and you'll see the new one there and you can spawn it in. Now since I'm using a rocket assist here, you're going to want your particles off. Otherwise, it's going to look like he's got fire coming out of his butt. And that is just unsightly. This horse is available for download on the workshop, of course. Got a link in the description. You might want to just tap on the left and right controls if you want this to look natural. But if you want to go around in circles, I don't think Bessie will mind. Now I heard on YouTube, if you got a rocket on a creation, you're supposed to try to turn it all the way up. It don't make much sense to me, but I guess I'll do it. Alright, here we go. Now, we're making better time, but it's kind of silly looking. I guess if you wanted, you could make a horse with running motion and turn the controllers up more. Then this would make more sense. Looks like the rocket's pushing Bessie into the ground, though. She's starting to slow down. You can see her back legs aren't even touching the ground. And even when I stop, the stabilizers are going to keep her up in this position. Right here she got tilted up a little bit and got kind of airborne. Alright Bessie, settle down girl. Looks like Adeline's having trouble getting up this hill. I'm going to give her a little bit of an assist. Come on girl, you can get up that hill. Go ahead. Well that's about it. If you liked the video, give me a like. You can subscribe for more of Steve's Makerspace. And uh, give me some comments. Love to hear them. Thanks for watching. Don't come back now here. All right, Bessie. Good job.